if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about nitrogen cycle. We have talked about this cycle in detail in the unit of plant physiology in the chapter of mineral nutrition. But because we are talking about mineral cycles in general, we will also take up nitrogen cycle, but in short. Again, in any mineral cycle, we have to keep in mind that what is the source and then how it is used by the living organisms. So the source is molecular nitrogen in atmosphere. This is the only source of nitrogen, but this molecular nitrogen cannot be used as molecular nitrogen. So it has to be converted into usable form. Molecular nitrogen can not be used and so it needs to be converted into usable forms. Now what are these usable forms and how is this nitrogen converted into the usable form? So the first is, we can write from here, first is atmospheric fixation fixation word here is being used for converting that molecular nitrogen into usable form now what are these usable forms usable forms are nitrites nitrates and ammonium ion. These are the three usable forms. So now how is this nitrogen fixed in the atmosphere? The first reaction is molecular nitrogen reacts with oxygen to form oxides of nitrogen. For this reaction to take place, UV rays are required and lightning thunder lightning so whenever there is thunder and lightning in presence of uv rays this reaction would take place further oxidation will take place and we would get nitrate nitrite and nitrates these two will react with water so and react with water to form acids nitrous acid and nitric acid and they come to the soil in the form of acid rain and these are nitrites and nitrates so the usable forms have reached the soil and now plants can use these nitrites and nitrates because this reaction takes place in the atmosphere we call it atmospheric fixation the second is called industrial fixation and as the name tells us this fixation is taking place somewhere in the industry or in a factory Molecular nitrogen is made to react with hydrogen to form ammonia. This is not a balanced equation, but we can balance it. Then ammonia is made to react with carbon dioxide and here we get urea. This urea is added into the soil as fertilizer. And this urea then dissociates in the soil to release ammonium ion. 
So this is also one usable form which is now available in the soil. So either it is uh, atmospheric fixation or it is industrial. The third one which is the most important and the significant one is biological fixation. Biological fixation means with the help of living organisms and these can be symbiotic bacteria or even free living bacteria. Out of these two, symbiotic is very important. So we have heard of a symbiotic association of rhizobium and leguminous plant. So if we talk about that, leguminous plant and rhizobium, which is the symbiotic uh, bacteria. Rhizobium has an enzyme, nitrogenase. This is the enzyme. This enzyme works only in anaerobic condition now how is this anaerobic condition achieved that is achieved with the help of a pigment which is found in leguminous plant and that is known as leg hemoglobin it is a pink colored pigment And this pigment acts as oxygen scavenger. That means it eats up all that free oxygen. And if it, if it eats up that oxygen, that means the environment or that surrounding is without oxygen or anaerobic. How is this reaction taking place? Nitrogenase. Normally, we represent nitrogenase like this. It can bind to a molecule of nitrogen. And between nitrogen, there are three bonds. Now, this undergoes reduction. Now, if it is reduced in a stepwise manner, In the first step, one bond will break. So between these two nitrogen atoms, now there will be only two and one valency will be satisfied by hydrogen. We continue with this. So now there is only one bond remaining and one hydrogen, second hydrogen here, one hydrogen, second hydrogen. And if this continues for one more step, this enzyme nitrogenase is set free and to every nitrogen atom now there are one two and three hydrogens so that means there are two ammonia which are formed so this is one molecule of nitrogen with the enzyme and here we get two ammonia. This is happening in the plants because this is a symbiotic association. So in the plant, the symbiotic bacterium has converted that molecular nitrogen into two molecules of ammonia. And we know ammonia is basic. It is a toxic substance for the living organism. So it is immediately converted into ammonium ion. So there would be two ammonium ions. Now how do we convert? one ammonia into ammonium ion. It is by just giving it a proton. So that process is known as protonation. So by giving one proton, we are converting or plants are converting these two ammonia molecules into two ammonium ions. So in every case, that molecular nitrogen has been converted into usable form, be it nitrite, nitrate, ammonium ion or ammonium ion so that plants can use it. 
Now, where do living organisms need this nitrogen? Nitrogen is required in plants or animals or living organisms for making amino acids. Because of these amino acids, proteins are synthesized. And everything in our body, I would say 99% of our uh, things in our body are done by proteins, be it enzymes, be it some hormones, be it muscle, contractile protein, be it clotting protein. So all these are proteins which are made up of amino acids. It is also required to make nitrogen base and this nitrogen bases are essential for formation of our nucleic acid. ATP, adenosine, triphosphate, adenosine is nothing but a nucleoside. So everywhere, again NADP, FAD, all these, they contain nitrogen. So nitrogen is required for the formation of the molecule which is the building block of our body or of the living organisms and more detail of this like biological uh, fixation in more detail we have discussed in the chapter of mineral nutrition so if you need that you can watch that video but this is just to have an idea that how this nitrogen is moving in the living system plants convert that nitrogen into protein we take it in the form of food after death and decomposition, this nitrogen will be again released back into the atmosphere. So, the mineral cycles, all four, carbon, phosphorus, sulfur and nitrogen cycles. So, we have completed all these uh, mineral cycles which are in this chapter.